Welcome back to the Listen Phi. Listen Phi is about solving equations involving absolute value. Now, absolute value is a very interesting topic. It is the two dashed lines. Okay, now you might have seen this in the calculator as well. ABS, shift and the symbol. This is absolute value. What is the speciality of absolute value? You might have come across this in physics. It is basically the distance of something. Now, let it be 51 or negative 51. It tells you the distance of this value. So it will never have a negative value inside. I mean, you can have a negative value inside, but the answer will be positive. What I mean to say is you can never have, uh, say, phi over here like this as minus phi. If you get an answer equal to minus phi, this is absolutely wrong. It's wrong. It will be plus phi. Whether it's plus or minus, it will be plus itself. The answer will be the distance. It's positive itself. That is absolute value in simple words. We will look into it. The learning objective of this lesson is to, find, to solve absolute value expressions. And the keyword is absolute value. Now here... They have told how to solve absolute value basically. Now, you, this is important. Now, you can see over here modulus. Okay, there are ways to tell this absolute value x or modulus x. So, it's up to you. Since it's absolute value, we will tell it absolute value itself. Now, absolute value of x equals 3. This means what is the possible values of x? Now, let's look into the calculator. You can have this now, for example, if you put alpha x and equal to 3, what do you get? You will just get 3. But this is not it. There is another thing. If you now I'll delete it all shift absolute value. So you can use calculator, but you'll just get one answer. You won't get both the answers. That's why it's very important to know how to solve this. Now, let's see. You put 3 over here. Your answer is 3. Okay, so x can be 3. But what else? It can be minus 3 as well. So, you must know this x is equal to 3 or x equals negative 3. This is very, very crucial. And now, look over here from 0 because there is nothing added to it. From 0, what is the distance? 3 is the distance. So it's 1, 2, 3 to the right side and to the left side of the number line. So it is plus or minus. So this is the reason. That's about absolute values. Now, when you solve a problem, you must keep few things in mind. There are two cases. What are the cases? First, this is non-negative. Second one, it is negative. Now, what does this mean? We know the whatever the value inside this. See, what is the value? It's y plus y plus 2 can be positive or can be negative. That is the thing. But in simple terms, now I'm, I'm sure you understood the previous one over here uh, with the number line. It's the distance, plus or minus, right? It can be positive, negative. Now, see, it is... 3 positive and negative it's the distance from 0 now you must remember the easy way to understand this is in exam whenever you're solving absolute value see forget those two lines just write y plus 2 equals 4 only without the absolute line this is case 1 the case 2 again it's the same thing without absolute value but write negative 4 this is the only thing that's the only thing. And then you solve, you'll get two answers. Now you can see over here, y plus 2 equals 4, y plus 2 equals negative 4. Now when you're solving this, what happens? You, you should just take, we have done this already in the previous lessons. Take 2 to the other side, it'll be minus 2. Your answer is y equals 2. And over here you take the, uh, to the other side, it'll be minus 6. Now that's the answers. The solutions are negative 6 and 2. You write the small letter, small number first and then the bigger number. Now, if you try to do this in calculator, what's going to happen? Shift and absolute alpha x plus 2 equals 4. Shift and solve, you will just get a single answer, 2. What about negative 6? That's not there. So, you'll get partially correct, but you won't get the correct answer. So, this is important method. Okay. Now, if you want to graph the solution set, just draw a number line and graph 2 positive 2, negative 6. This is your answer.
It's very simple and very straightforward. Um, we have some real world problems, so you will understand much better what is this equation and everything. But in simple words uh, to explain it, now imagine you um, imagine you have some coins, okay? Uh, say just coins uh, or pebbles, something like that. M maybe you have you don't know exactly how many coins, but you can see the coins and tell you have around twenty coins. Give or take five coins. It might be more than twenty or less than twenty. Okay, you're not so sure. So you you tell not give or take three coins. Maybe it is twenty three or seventeen. So if you're writing it an equation, it'll be x can be x minus how much? It's around twenty coins, but it is give or take how much? It was three. So this basically what you're saying is. It can be 20 plus 3 or it can be 20 minus 3. The answer is how much? 20, 17 over here and 23 over here. This is it. Now, if you solve this equation, let's solve this. So what happens? Case 1, x minus 20 equals 3. Case 2, x minus 20 equals negative 3. Now let's solve it. What is going to happen? 20 goes to the other side. It will be 20 plus 3, 23. Over here it will be 20 minus 3, that is 17. This is what absolute value means exactly, okay? This is a simple example. Uh, you are 20 coins, but you don't know sure, so you're telling it's maybe more, more than 3, more than 20, or 3 less than 20, so this is the range. We will see other real world problems as well in a while. Now, Pause the video and solve this by yourselves because we just now solve one more problem. Please try it. Pause it. Try it. I hope you have tried. Now I will solve this. Here all you need to do is 2t minus 4 equals 8. 2t minus 4 equals minus 8. Okay. Now you need to take the 4 to the other side. It will be 2t equals 8 plus 4 because negative becomes positive. It will be 12 and t equals 6 whereas another case another case it will be 2 t equals plus minus 8 plus 4 will be minus 4 t equals negative 2 this is the answer 6 and it's positive 6 and minus 2 if you are given number lines solve this and see which number line has minus 2 and positive 6 that's it now okay just quickly uh, think in your mind what is the answer over here? Are we going to solve like two cases or what is it? Now, you can try this in calculator. What's going to happen? It will be 3x minus 4 equals negative 1. I'm not sure what will, what will be shown in your calculators, but over here, it says it's, it can't be solved. Why? Because this is null set, it's no solution. You can never have an answer magnitude of anything, anything for that matter. It can be any value whose magnitude will be negative. It's wrong because distance cannot be negative. So this is basically null set or empty set. Okay. Since distance cannot be negative, that means this cannot be negative. The solution is null. It's not there. There is no solution. Okay. This circle and like this means null set or empty set okay so that's the thing and now basically it's saying that the distance between these two points is negative one which is wrong okay no now then which statement must be true for this to be null set now which are the statement let's see the options if a is negative the solution will be a null set wrong if this is negative negative x no it's fine you can get answer if b is negative also is wrong if c is negative yes if c is negative this is wrong because uh, equal to cannot be negative that means the distance is negative if c is positive it's fine so c is the wrong answer this it can't be negative that's it and now we have a real world problem depending on the size of each song luna's phone holds an average of 2,000 songs. Give or take 250 songs. Write and solve an equation involving absolute value to find the maximum and minimum numbers of songs that Luna's phone can hold. Now you must understand, 
you don't know the exact value of song so that is x okay minus what is this 2000 now there is one more way to understand this what is the given value of x it's 2000 right bring it inside it will be x minus 2000 okay that is an absolute value that is equal to what how much is the fluctuation it is 250 so this is how we write x minus 2000 inside the absolute value the two straight lines means absolute value function equals 250 you should just solve this one now what happens x minus 2000 equals 250 x equals uh, 2000 plus 250 it will be a positive 2000 so it's going to be 2250 this is one answer what is the another answer x minus 2000 equals negative 250 that means it will be x equals 2000 minus 250 is 1750 so this is the answer or if you can see over here there are on average 2000 song you or take 250 add 250 over here it will be 2250 minus 250 from this 1750 that is the answers so this is with more explanation now this equation is very very important what i had written and then you just solve that equation over here case one and two you will get 1750 and 2250 that is the answers Please try this. There's a bit of catch. I will explain what's the thing. Uh, I'll read the problem. It takes approximately six minutes for a skydiver to land after she jumps out of a plane. Give or take 30 seconds. What is the range of time and seconds it could take the skydiver to land? Now here there is minutes and seconds. Please get both of them in single uh, format, single units. And then you can solve it easily. Please pause the video. I highly encourage everyone to do this by yourselves so you will learn better. I hope you have tried or at least read and did it in your mind. Now, first thing, get the six minutes into seconds. How much is six minutes in seconds? Multiply by 60. It is six times six is 3,036. 360 seconds. One zero, so one zero. So it's 360 seconds. Now, give or take 30, you can do plus or minus 30. That's it. The answer will be 330 and 390. But anyways, let's do it in the format. Let's write the equation. So, x over here will be equal to 360. Get it inside. It will be x minus 360 equals give or take 30. This is the equation. Always it says minus when it's given. So, okay, they have not written the equation. Now we will solve this. It will be x minus 360 equals 30. x plus, sorry, it's always minus 360 equals negative 30. Take the minus 360 to the other side. It will be positive 360. It will be x equals 390. 360 plus 90. 360 plus 30, sorry. And here it will be 330. That is 360 minus 30. That is the answers, 3.30 and 3.90. We have a graph over here and they expect us to write the equation. So when there are two points, what does it mean? So it's very simple. It's about distance, right? Distance from where? Distance from the middle point, right? It's the distance. Absolute value means the distance from here. So distance of these two points. So find the midpoint. You can either count like this 27, 26, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So midpoint is 22. But if it's a huge number, it's not possible. So just take the average a midpoint value, midpoint formula. Add these two numbers and divide it by 2. These are the two numbers, right? At the points. It is 17 plus 27 divided by 2. It's going to be 14 plus 30, that is 44 divided by 2, that is equal to 22. This is the answer. So you can see the midpoint is 22. That means the equation is x minus 22. Now, this is not over. Equals to what? How much is the distance from 22 to 27? How much is the distance each side? Phi and phi. Is that okay? 
or else you can do like this it is the higher point 27 minus the lower point divided by 2 you will get the uh, average distance between just this much okay not the midpoint midpoint is adding right average is maximum minus the lowest divided by 2 it will be 27 minus 17 is 10 by 2 equals 5 this is the equation okay this is the correct answer let's see the answer so it is c5 units right and left so it'll be x minus 22 that is equal to 5 this is it that's the answer now then i think so this is the last one yes um, last problem in this lesson it's a small lesson now it is to fill in the blanks with the correct answer you have four graphs you have four options you need to match the correct one with the correct graph so Solve it one by one. Pause the video now. Solve it one by one and then check the answers. Now, let's see over here. How would you do it? Since this is very, very small, you can easily do it. Four midpoint would be four plus minus two would be four minus two divided by two. Four minus two is two. Two by two is one. One. This is the midpoint. So the answer would be x minus one equals how much is the distance? One, two, three. See, this is the correct answer. The first one is this one. Okay, it's gone. Now, what about the second one? Same way, 8 minus 2 divided by 2. Why I'm writing minus? It should be 8 plus of minus 2 divided by 2. 8 plus this number. That is 6 divided by 2. 8 minus 2 is 6 by 2. That is 3. And what about the distance? Uh, you get x minus 3 equals to what 8 minus this value 8 minus of negative 2 divided by 2 it will be 8 minus of minus will be plus it will be 10 by 2 that is equal to 5 so it must be this this is the correct answer for second that is it same way do the others if you have not done any of it now at least do solve the others so over here it is 7 plus minus 5 this is for the midpoint divided by 2 all you need to do is sum them up it will be 2 by 2 it is equal to 1 now you can get the answer x minus 1 equals 6 why from 1 what is the distance to 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 or 7 minus 1 it's 6 that's it even over here guys you know the midpoint is how much 3 right what is the distance from 8 to 3? 5. So you can do that directly as well. Or you can do any of the, any of the methods. It's fine. So this is the answer. And last one remaining. 3 plus minus 9 divided by 2. What's the answer? It's minus 6 by 2. That is equal to minus 3. Now, when you write x minus of minus 3, what's going to happen? It'll be minus minus will be plus x plus 3 that is equal to 6 why from minus 3 what is the distance 1 2 3 4 5 6 even over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is how sorry this should be over here that is how we solve it last prob last solution is over here this is the th these are the answers and that's it for this lesson very simple very easy lesson absolute value equations if you have any questions any doubts please put them in the comment section and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible take care guys and stay tuned for the next video bye bye for now